In today's video, I want to show you how you can turn any script, topic, or even product you have into an AI podcast with custom AI video avatars. You can make small podcast clips like these or even entire video podcast episodes in landscape and vertical format. You can share them on social media, you can make money with them, or you can even use them on your landing page or as an organic looking ad to promote a product. The quality that I was able to achieve is, in my opinion, much better than what I've seen so far on YouTube, and that's because I'm using multiple tools. So let's start with a little overview so you don't get too confused. First, I'm using Ideogram to generate the images for the AI avatars. Then there's Notebook LM or 11 Labs to generate the audio for the podcast. Notebook LM generates a complete podcast while 11 Labs allows you to customize voices a lot more, which is better for shorts or TikTok-like podcast clips. Then we have CapCut to edit the audio and video clips. You can use any other editor, of course. Hydra or Infinity AI to generate a speaking avatar and then Runway to improve the avatar's quality by a lot. Now, if you want to skip all these steps, I suggest you check out Reblin, which is my AI podcast video generator. I'm launching it very soon, so enter your email on my website and you will get notified. But now, let's dive into the workflow. So first of all, we generate pictures for the avatars. Now, most podcast speakers actually don't look directly into the camera. If you take a look at the Joe Rogan podcast, it's just a back and forth between him and the guest. And obviously they are looking at each other. That's why we cannot just straight up use HeyGen or Synthesia to generate an authentic looking avatar in the podcast look. So in order to recreate this look, I usually use Ideogram, prompted something like this. Attractive man and podcast setting looking to the right. Then I get a result like this. It's important that both the eyes and mouth of the character are visible, or you might run into problems later when the AI animates the character. Also, I would suggest using the horizontal format. Even if you want to use it for vertical format later, start with horizontal. Vertical format also works, but it usually generates a lot more of the body, which might make it look unrealistic later. So we generate one character like this, and of course another one because we need a podcast partner. Sometimes Ideogram struggles with the direction of the eyes. For example, if you tell that the character should look to the left, in that case, you can just mirror the character later on in your video editor. So now we have those two images of two podcast hosts. Obviously, you can modify the prompt, the look of the person, the look of the background. You might want to have a microphone as well, but I figured with this prompt, I get both. I get results with a microphone, a headset sometimes, so I can choose freely. Now for the next step, and that is generating the audio, we have two options. In case of Notebook LM, you don't really have to do much. You just paste in a source or upload a text file and the podcast is entirely generated for you. But you must know you are limited to only two voices and a couple other limitations. We're covering everything from what AI is to how it actually works and where you can find it in action today. Yeah, and I think what's so cool is that research into AI is aimed. You could, of course, isolate the voices from your Notebook LM podcast and use Eleven Labs as a voice changer. But to me, that seems like a bit of a hassle. Also, Notebook AM sometimes hallucinates, so you don't always get the exact thing you want them to talk about. Maybe they leave things out, details, or they skip something. But nevertheless, most of the times you get a pretty good result. And one thing you can also not change is the length of the podcast. That's why the other option is also interesting, which is 11 Labs. Here you actually need to provide a script, but of course that gives you a lot more freedom. You can generate the script with ChatGPT, for example, or another AI of your choice. So let's say you've got your script. Then you just search for a nice voice for speaker one and speaker two. The voice, of course, should be fitting to the character. Otherwise, it will look a bit odd. You can pick the pre-made voices from 11 Labs or you can create a custom one as well. You paste the text for both speakers one after another into 11 Labs and download both audio files. Sometimes it makes sense to play a bit with the settings on the side or split the audio into multiple smaller parts to get better, more realistic results. Now we have two realistic avatar photos and the audio for them. So it's time to edit the audio tracks. For Notebook LM, we paste in the audio into our editing software like CapCut and separate the voices manually by cutting the track. It's a bit tedious, but it's the only way at the moment. For 11 Labs, of course, you already have everything that you need 
unless you want both speakers to show up in your clip simultaneously. Then you need to add a bit of silence between the back and forth. I personally don't do it because in reality, most podcast videos not really show both people at the same time that often, especially in short clips. And it also costs additional credits later on for the silent parts. After you have finished the audio tracks and pictures, it's time to generate the avatar video. For really authentic avatars in a podcast look, we need to make a bit of a two-step approach. First, we start by using Hedra, which lets you create talking head videos. You're just pasting your audio here and then the picture of your avatar here. Then you click generate video. It takes around a minute, really depends on how long your audio is, of course. And while that is loading, I will show you another option, which is Infinity AI. Infinity AI is basically the same thing. You can paste the audio here an avatar picture there and you can start generating. Now if we compare both results, my price, endless pizza delivery, no questions asked. Hydra didn't really get the head orientation right, but besides that, they are almost identical to my assessment. They're not bad, but they're also not that good. They still got this diffusion-like look with a little bit of artifacts here and there. Also, the resolution is quite low. If you make the video bigger, it doesn't look that good anymore. So if you want, you can just leave it right here, use it as is. But what I like to do is to go a step further, improve the quality by a lot. And we do this by using Runway's Act 1 model, which allows you to input a driving video and then animate your avatar picture with it. Now again, if you want to skip all these steps, and let AI do all the work for you, head over to Revlon.co. There you can just type in a script and it will create the podcast video for you. But moving on to Runway. So what we do is we just paste the videos we just generated into here. It shortly checks if it detects a face. If it doesn't work, you have to try it with a different initial picture for your avatar. Then we also upload the avatar image here. Same thing again. If it doesn't detect the face, you need to change it out for another one. We tap generate and wait a bit. I'm not gonna do it now because I already did it and it costs credits, but when your results are done, we can have a look at them and this is what you can see. My price, endless pizza delivery, no questions asked. Looks a lot better than just Hydra or Infinity. For post-production, the only thing we have to do is we stitch all the results together. Maybe you want to add more subtitles or some editing, some B-roll, and then we have our final result. All right, you're face to face with the devil. He offers you a deal. What's your price? My price? Endless pizza delivery, no questions asked. Seriously, you're sold for pizza? You don't understand. It's perfect pizza. Never burnt, never cold. Okay, but imagine someone else is out here trading their soul for like world peace or immortality and you'd be that guy who sold out for mozzarella. And I'd be the one enjoying world peace with pizza in hand. Checkmate. You're the reason humanity can't have nice things. Now, the only downside to all these services we used is that they cost money, especially if you want to create a full-on podcast and use them professionally. But it's still extremely efficient. And if you still want to take it up a notch, you can, of course, use an upscaler like Topaz, but that's really nitpicking. If you try this out, let me know if it works for you. And please make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.